I'm trying to unbox and assemble as I have the new Orcs Pain Boy. Here it is, brand new in its packaging, just picked up this morning. So first thing I want to do is I want to get it out of that packaging. So I just get my knife here and I just run it down the side of the packaging. Obviously be really cautious if you're using a knife and probably use um, a scratch boost mat or something so you don't tear up your desk. So first thing in the box, we have this sheet with the photo artwork thing on and the instructions. I just put that to one side. It also comes with the standard little waist and this little sprue featuring our little orc character. We have the main back of the torso, we have his little robot hand and his little gun arm, as well as his head, his front, and these extra wiry things. And there it is from the other side. Close-ups here, we can see his face in a little more detail, as well as a little grot on his back holding onto the syringes and stuff. And the actual robot hand isn't as flat as I thought it would be, with all the fingers already being attached. So we just want to unclip all our little individual pieces, make sure we get them all off. And we're going to have his torso, his back, his little needle gun thing, his robot hand, his head, and then this thing, which is actually part of his robot hand with more wires. And we just want to cut the lumps off where we unclipped them from the sprues. And again, being super careful not to stab your fingers with a knife. Then we're just using the side of the blade to do little scraping motions. And this helps us get rid of all the um, mold lines and any rough parts from where we were cutting off the lumps from unclipping the sprues. And any other defects or even like markings that are like carved on, you can scratch them off with this method. Glue I'm using is Revel glue. Now the first part, I'm gluing the two halves of the body together. These are the main pieces and I want them to be set pretty solid before we add the rest. We just want to test how they go together and just apply glue to the one side and then squeeze and hold. And then I'm going on to his robot hand as again, this is multiple pieces so it's best to get together before we um, put it on the main body. So again, I'm testing because there's a lot of wires and things and it's good to see where they all go before applying the glue. So a bit of glue. Slide it all into place, give it a little hold, and then I'll set nicely. Then I want to attach its head to the main body. So if you look at the main neck here, there's two little nubbins, and these go into the back of the head. So just put a little bit of glue on there, and the head will just go straight on there, and it will just lock into place really easily. I was actually surprised how far to the side he's looking. But then next I'm doing his little gun arm. It has again like little indentations in the shoulder and little lumps and stuff to help it all go together super securely. I'm just putting glue and I, I'm putting glue where the wire attaches at his back as well to help hold that in place. Next piece I have hanging up here is his robot arm. I just put it up there to dry. Now this one was a little more complicated to figure out where this wire went, but it just just go in the front there. It did take me a minute to figure it out. So a bit of glue on his stumpy arm and a bit on his chest where that wire goes. And then it's just sliding and holding it into place and trying to get the wire as neat as possible. Then it's just gotta be put on his base. So a little bit of glue on his foot, a little bit of glue on his little um, stumpy peg leg type thing. And then just try and get him as central in the base as possible without getting too much weight on one side. And this is the finished model. Then give you a size comparison. Here he is next to one of the new flash kits and next to a Space Wolf Terminator. So you can see how big he is. He's bigger than I thought. But if you like this video, please subscribe and click the like button and click here for more of my Orc uh, assembling videos and painting videos. Thanks for watching.